didn't really think that I would use this really nice stacked up wood for my fence project, did you? I put so much hard work into making that stack all nice and pretty and organized and compact, screwed down so the wind doesn't get it. No, 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 no. We're not using that. We're using this. It is time to take all of this down. So the plan is to transport these all in big pieces over to where the project is, disassemble it over there, use the good panels, stack up the bad panels. It's a perfect time of year to do this project because I need firewood. So bad panels will just go straight to the house and burn in the wood stove and yeah pretty efficient these two panels have been here for quite a while so let's see what creepy crawlies are under here oh that was dirt that scared me here. Alrighty, now I can load it up easy. Don't have to fight all of this. Show them over there too. No shortage of firewood this year. Absolutely not. Need to get the magnet out here too. Went from a coat to a flannel to a t-shirt all in the course of like an hour.
Alrighty, now that we have the panels taken down, it's time to disassemble them and slap those puppies on the fence.
So this is where I left off. Some good progress, but still obviously a lot more to go. Um, and this is how many pallets I have left. Well, pallets, panels, whatever you want to call them. There's four of them here. I think I remember saying that there were 11 to start with. So that's how far six panels got me. And if you're looking at that and thinking the math isn't mathing, six panels over there sure seem to use up a whole lot more space than six panels over here. You would be correct. About 30% uh, or so of the panels on these are unusable. Um, they're either split down the middle or so dry that they wouldn't um, be able to withstand me screwing something into it without splitting, or they're warped like this one. Um, this one's split down the middle. There's actually been a couple that I didn't even notice. I put them over in the good pile and then I went to use them and realized that they had a split in the middle that pushed the wood out. And so like the slats couldn't line up at all in any way that made them look good. Instead of using more of these um, panels, because they're already quite low to the ground, I kind of think I should just go grab some more because I do have more fence over here to take down. It's the last section of fence is this side and back corner. So I think what would be smarter, since I am not at all close to being done with this fence, is to just go grab some more panels, stack them up so that they're at a nice height for me to unscrew and sort out help keep myself off the ground a little bit, protect my back, protect my knees. You guys have already seen me take a lot of panels down. I'm not gonna bother filming this. Um, let's uh, just go gather some more materials and come back to this when I'm ready. much fence is down so if you remember that corner over there was what I started with that got me about halfway through I would say and I had to take the rest of this side down in order to get enough panels to finish the project so I basically have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight panels left. And then the whole thing will be taken down and I can start work dismantling all of this. I need to get a tractor in here and pull the posts and basically push all of this over and get rid of all the holes. It is a huge bummer though, because these are filled with trash. Um, when I took the panels down, I took whatever was going to blow away and threw it away. And um, just in the handful I've done today, I got this whole thing of garbage and then that doesn't fit. So it's going to be quite a lot of work still. I, I mean, we're close to the finish line over here. Um, but it is still going to be a lot of work because I need to go through and pick up all the garbage that I can so it doesn't just end up getting buried. But that will be for a future video. For now, I just get to enjoy my wonderful view. Ta-da! It's done! Time for happy dance! Cha-cha-cha! Cha 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 cha. It's really hard to do these happy dances without music though. I need to find some music that's like royalty free that I can use as my happy dance music. If you have any suggestions for royalty free music I can use as the happy dance song, 
Let me know. I hope it's not too windy and that you can hear me. I um, especially like the fact that it is the same fence when it was the pot farm. Obviously I had to reconfigure the panels and throw out all the bad pickets and all that kind of stuff. But I feel like in 10 years or whatever, when I go to show people, you know, hey, this is what it used to look like. I can point at this fence and say, this fence was all over there. <laughs> it's like a little tribute to the old pot farm. So while I'm looking for a comment of the comment of the day, um, I said it in my last video, but I'll say it again. If you guys notice the drone shots, I am so happy with them. I think they look so good. And like, I can't thank you guys enough for helping me get that. So yeah, hopefully you guys really like them. Okay, so the comment today is from Smokey83 and I'm just gonna read part of it. It's like, you're building a fence on a fence. Um, why don't you just ask your neighbors if they, you can add a privacy screen or whatever. I did ask my neighbors. This is what we all agreed to. We actually talked a little bit about just replacing the vinyl slats, the, the privacy slats in those. Go look up how expensive those are. I could not believe how much they're charging for those vinyl little slats. This fence was basically free. I spent less than $100 on some new 2x4s because my old 2x4s were just rotten and full of holes and all kinds of stuff from being on the fence before. So I wanted some nice new strong 2x4s so that this will last a little while. And um, I'm not delusional. I know a wood fence in the desert doesn't last very well because I have the case in point of this other fence that's falling apart. But this is what I have at my disposal. That's part of what homesteading is, you know, is making do of what you have and being resourceful. And so, you know, if this all falls down and I have to redo it in a handful of years, so be it. It works for right now. It looks good in my opinion. And yeah. This is what I had at my disposal to do it right now on the cheap because I have just a million projects inside the house that need funding. Uh, and truth be told, this fence, it's just a vanity thing, you know? <laughs> you don't need the privacy fence. It's not like I got creepy neighbors looking in at me and I need to protect myself or anything. It's just for fun. A big part of it is to use up the panels um, so that I can finally grade back behind the house and get all of the traces of the old pot farm and the scars in the desert all gone. I also figured I'd show you guys all the wood that I got that is no bueno, not good. This pile has grown it's probably double of what I started winter with. And of course I've been burning wood all winter. So uh, don't worry about me guys. I got plenty of firewood. <laughs> Hopefully that's enough two by fours to hold it down. Next time we get a windstorm, I only have one on basically every other board. So we'll see. I also have um, big branches of my willow tree that I've been pruning. My neighbor pruned some of his stuff and gave me it. So. This is all sitting here to season. This is the last angle I wanted to show you guys. And one of the main reasons that I actually did this project. So that I would have a nice backdrop for the agave when they grow big. And this is the view from my kitchen window. The funny thing is, is that it's actually like really understated, obviously. It's just some panels. Like a lot of the work that I've been doing, it's more about, um, you know, blank canvassing. And so, yeah, it feels like a blank canvas back there now. Not sure if I ever explained to you guys why I decided to stop the fence where I did. First of all, that's like the end of where uh, my neighbor has their stuff piled up. But I also um, am wanting to put my shed right in this area somewhere. And so basically from most angles, the shed will cover up, you know, this stuff and... Uh, so basically the fence will just dead end behind the shed. I hope you guys like the project. And uh, if you wanna support the channel, go ahead and comment, cause comments are what YouTube wants to see nowadays. Um, subscribe if you want to, uh, like if you want to, but uh, yeah, that's it for this little uh, saga, starting with the garden bed and uh, part one and part two. And uh, I'll see you guys in a couple of weeks for my next project.
拜。